Get up, get out, get around, and do it, do it! <laughs> Alright guys, how you doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Get up, get out, get around, and do it, do it. You know what I'm saying? Just came in, had a delivery. Food delivery, if you will. What did I get? I got me some Pizza Hut. That's what I got. Pizza the Hut. I got like a 14 piece, something like that. Wing. I got the hottest one they had, I believe. I could be wrong, but I think it was probably the hottest that they offered. In hopes that they're all there. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Looks pretty good to me, guys. Let me give them a quick count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Well, maybe they did. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe, baby. Can't remember which one it was. I just know it's their hottest buffalo uh, option that they offered there. So, that's what I got. And I got some ranch. You always got to get ranch. It just goes perfect with uh, with chicken wings. It just goes with it. But I like to taste them to see how uh, they taste first. So let me do that. Start off with the little bitty leg. Got a little bit of sauce there. I'm hoping they're really hot. Good taste. Are they hot? Yeah. There's a little bit going on there, but not as hot as what I was hoping for. That's all good. So how's everyone doing today? Monday, May 11th. How's everybody doing? Everybody's still corona free. You know, I'm beginning to wonder about all that. I'm not saying there's not a real problem, but Things are just kind of, it's just kind of weird. Hard to put your finger on the weirdness of it, but there's a weirdness to it. You know?
I'm not into politics and all that kind of stuff, but it's kind of weird. I don't know. Seems like they're trying to pin. Seems like they're trying to pin a lot of this on Trump. And a lot of the misinformation. You know, a lot of a lot of the things being said. Well, what people forget is the president, whether it's Trump or Obama, Bush, Clinton, Reagan, whoever. They only know so much. Um, they're pretty much told what to say. They're not scientists. They're not in the medical field. Now, some of them have a better way of delivering that message. Trump sometimes is a little bit rude and crude and says some stupid stuff. I'm not pro-Trump necessarily and I'm not pro-anyone or as long as it's not a Clinton. They just about don't need any ranch. I think all this is just kind of weird though you know at first I was really worried I'm like dang you know man this is some serious stuff man what's going on now I feel like it's more politically charged I've been wondering for a few days now. I was thinking, what if this was kind of a test? A test to see. How we would act in the face of a real emergency. Our country hadn't had any real emergencies in a long time. We've had it easy. Very easy. Very lucky. It's just a test. Have you thought about that? I'm not some crazy weird conspir conspiracy theorist or anything. Far from it. But, 
sometimes you gotta sit back and think about things, you know? And I don't sit around and watch a lot of news or anything. I'm not a big news guy. Matter of fact, I'm not a big TV guy. TV's never on when I'm home. My wife turns it on. Only time I turn the TV on is if I'm watching The Walking Dead. That's it. And as you get down here into the sauce, and you can kind of get chicken wings in there a little bit. It becomes a little bit more Spicy. I could still go a whole lot hotter. I'd like to really try some really hot wings. As long as I got good taste. I don't want to just eat hot for hot. Unless I'm doing that kind of video. You know, just to see how hot I can handle something. But, um, anyway. Uh, so today I took back my school bus to the garage, to the bus garage, and uh, traded it in for another bus. What we're doing is some of us deliver food and some of us are cleaning and disinfecting buses. I'm cleaning and disinfecting. So uh, you got to do two buses a week. Uh. So, good news is I found out the star last week having to do it. We don't have to do it no more. So, kind of ready for that. I've cleaned and disinfected a lot of buses. <laughs> so, I'm ready to be done with that. Well, he's got a pretty good, pretty good little flavor. And there is a little kick. At first, I didn't really... I wasn't really catching the kick in them, but that's pretty good. Pretty good stuff. I know I probably won't get any views on this. I don't get a lot of views on anything. But, if you happen to make it this far in this video, what is it I could do to my channel within reason that would get me some more views? I'm not looking to be the next superstar.
it'd just be nice to know that I'm getting something out of the work that I put in. I mean, I have over 500 videos now. And I make videos from food tasting to make it to cooking food, cycling on road and off road, a little bit of bike maintenance and you know different stuff like that, art, photography, little video games, a little discussion, movie reviews. I even have. A playlist dedicated to more like family type stuff where I give you a look into uh, my family if we have get-togethers and stuff I'll put videos up uh, I've also got videos in there of uh, you know getting to know me better and different stuff like that and uh, and I realized that a lot of channels that do the best stick to pretty much one topic I'm not that way I just can't do it but I don't think that's really what's hurting me. I just don't think so. And I realize I'm not the demographic, you know, that people are looking for. I'm a 48-year-old man who's not interesting to the young crowds. I get it. But, you know, I'm versatile. I try to do stuff. Try to show a little bit of humor. Some personality. A little bit of, you know, socializing with you guys. But it don't, it don't really do much. Like if I could get like I have 140 or 141 142 subscribers if I could get even 75 views from those subscribers that'd be pretty good And then other people viewing it, you know, that are browsing YouTube, get more views. You know, it seems like if you're not some girl flashing her boobs and butt, and showing her, you know, trying on clothes and bathing suits and all that stuff, or if you're not someone who's doing something stupid and blowing something up or tripping people or or something weird like that or the next ignorant dance craze or whatever the case may be it seems like if you're not in that boat it's kind of hard to do anything you don't really get the views and a recognition now, i'm not saying everybody there's people my age there's people older than me they get more views and more likes and more subscribers and all that so it's not all just based on age. I don't know. I go through phases where I don't know if it's really worth my time. There's some YouTubers out there, some guys that post videos. Who don't edit their videos who don't do anything they just upload a video and it's raw it's what it is you know composition might be all off or camera all over the place and and uh, nothing added in no text or extra video you know clips or anything you know no real effort I'm not like that Try to put in a little time and effort. And, you know. A 
Those are good. Man, those are good. Mm. Those were great. <clears throat> You know, it's hard to it's hard to give a grade to chicken wings. They're always just pretty good. Ugh. If I have to give those a grade, man, I'm gonna give them a five out of five. Just good. Good stuff. Good, good stuff. Uh, uh, uh. I don't think that you want hot chicken wings, Axel. I don't think so. Sorry about that, guys, but I gotta clean myself. All right, now we have a large pepperoni pizza with extra pepperoni. Looks pretty good. It's not super hot, but it's all right. Yeah, it's been in there a minute. Not gonna complain. Well, you can tell by how much grease is in there on the box. It's been in that box for a minute. It's not even lukewarm, really. I ain't gonna complain to him. I'm not gonna call him up. Even though the last time I ordered from him, it was amazing. I called him up and gave him a good compliment. I told him it was excellent. share yeah this pizza has been sitting around a minute so during all this weird time have you guys done anything? Have you picked up any new hobbies or anything decent? Have you explored your DIY side or have you explored your artistic side or have you kind of done anything that maybe you haven't done in years or have you tried something new? I don't reckon I've done anything much more than what I always do. Um, I think it's good to keep yourself busy, at least, you know, do something once a day. 
Still riding my bike. Still doing that. Did a off road, uh, did a trail ride yesterday, and I just did a road ride today. In a world full of negativity, it's good to do something to try to get your mind off everything and try to stay positive. That's really what my channel is about. I know sometimes I have serious discussions and stuff and, and maybe we get into certain topics. Maybe we shouldn't get into, don't know. Uh, with religion and politics and that but uh you know I try to I try to put off a, a positive vibe and uh, maybe escape from my world for a little while and hope to help you guys escape a little bit uh, you know, we got to be a little positive sometimes. I'm positive that I would like this pizza to have been hot and fresh. That's what I would have liked. Maybe this ranch will help. Not really. Now, good call up. Just give them a light-hearted, you know, complaint. Politely. If I ever complain about anything, it's real polite. I'm never ugly. Ever, ever. But I could probably get another pizza out of it. You know, pizza credit or something. It was a $10 pizza. So I'm not out a whole lot. Funny the wings cost more than pizza. But they were also better than the pizza. Well, I gave the wings a 5 out of 5. I'm going to have to give this pizza a 1 out of 5. <clears throat> yeah. Too bad, I was looking forward to it. I'm not really big on pizza. I know that's weird. I like pizza, but I'm not big on it. There's a town, uh, there's a restaurant here in my town, family-owned restaurant. They've been there since the 70s, called Tom's Pizza and Steakhouse. Um, they have the only pizza that I actually just love and that I dream about and fantasize about and see myself marrying. It's the only pizza I truly, really like. And uh, they're a Greek, a Greek family. And it's a super thin pizza, super thin. It's not crisp. I don't like real crisp or anything, but theirs is not crisp. It's got more kind of a flex, kind of like this. 
just a real thin crust and they use a good sauce there they make their sauce homemade they use a good quality cheese and pepperonis and uh, they're actually friends of mine uh, their oldest son John oh uh, we became friends in ninth grade and we've been friends since and really good friends close I've even worked there my wife and I met there and got engaged there and and everything so uh, it's a good good restaurant and if you're ever in Paris go to Thomas Pizza and Steakhouse get the pepperoni pizza and tell them Mike sent you dog you really don't need all this but I'm gonna give it to him he don't need it but let's hook him up I really don't like giving him stuff like that because that's a lot of bread in his little stomach but he can handle it he can handle it guys all right well I hope you enjoyed this little eat video this little mukbang video uh, <clears throat> Again, leave some comments. Let me know what I can do better. Let me know what, maybe what I'm doing wrong. Again, I'm not looking to be the next big thing. I would just like to get my views up a little bit and uh, get my subscriber count up a little bit and, you know, be able to touch and reach more people and have people get involved and have interesting people in there and then I get involved in their channels um, something you might not know is I'm subscribed to probably 50 60 some odd channels and I watch every video they put out every video that don't mean I pay attention all the time but I make sure to give them a thumbs up and to give them a view and a lot of times I give them a comment whether I like it or not that's what I do you know why because if I'm subscribed to their channel then I'm going to support them. So, and you can't, you can't depend on notifications. You have to go to your YouTube. You have to go to your channels you're subscribed to and check on them. Same thing with Facebook. You can't depend on Facebook to let you know when someone's posting something. Go and check their Facebook wall, their timeline. That's how you see things. I mean, if you're going to be on there, if you're going to be social, if you're going to have a social networking account and be on there, and if you're going to have YouTube, get on there and take part in it. And uh, and that only helps the people, but it can help you. You guys can, uh, you know, uh, connect better. So, and everybody's helping everyone. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Get in there in the comments. Comment on some stuff. Let me know what you think about some of the stuff I talked about. Let me know how gross I looked when I was eating. Because I'm okay with it. Ah, food's good, baby. Guys, don't forget. Get up, get out, get rad, do it to it. Even when doing a Pizza Hut taste test, chicken wings were amazing. Pizza sucked video. We'll see you guys later. Mwah. Get up, get out, get around and do it, do it!